Lesson 1.4, Expanded Form, Two-Digit Numbers. We can describe a two-digit number as tens and ones, as the sum of the value of the tens digit plus the value of the ones digit. What does that mean? It means that we can show the number 45 as the number of tens and ones, four tens and five ones, and the value of the tens digit, four tens is 40, plus the value of the ones digit, five ones is a five, we have 40 plus five. It's equal to 45. We can use base 10 blocks to model tens and ones. There's four tens, we use four strips of 10. And there's five ones, we use five ones blocks. In this strip, there are 10 blocks and we can use this model to show 10. Here, there is one block, we use this model to show one. What does 36 mean? Well, the three in 36 has a value of three tens or 30. And the six in 36 has a value of six ones or six. It's three tens, six ones. The value of three tens is 30. The value of six ones is six. 30 plus six is equal to 36. The name of this video is Expanded Form, Two-Digit Numbers. So what is Expanded Form? 36 in Expanded Form is 30 plus 6. We show the value of each digit, 30 plus a 6. We can describe a number in different ways. We can describe 36 as 3 tens, 6 ones. We can also describe 36 as 30 plus six in expanded form. Notice in expanded form, we have a plus sign here. We can draw a quick picture to show the number. We don't wanna waste time on a fancy drawing. We just wanna do a quick picture. Then we can describe the number in two ways. Our number is 28. Our quick picture, we can use lines to show the tens, we draw a long line for each 10, and we can draw dots for eight ones. We have 10, 20, and eight, 28. That is two tens and eight ones. The other way we can describe it is an expanded form, two tens, is 20, eight ones is eight. We can show 28 as two tens, eight ones, or 20 plus eight. Here we have 40. There are four tens, and we can draw four lines for four tens. There are no ones, there's zero ones, so we don't need to draw any dots. And we can write it as four tens, zero ones. We can write it in expanded form. Four tens is 40. Zero ones is zero. Zero is a placeholder when there are no ones. When a place value has no value, we put a zero there to hold the place. That way, the tens won't be in the ones place. This zero is pushing it over into the correct place value. 40, written in expanded form, is 40 plus zero. Here we have 14. That's one ten and four ones. We can draw one ten with one line. We can draw four ones with four dots. We have one ten and four ones. 
we can write it in expanded form as 10 plus 4. The expanded form has a plus sign between the values. For expanded form, we write the value of the tens place plus the value of the ones place. Tala has pennies. She has one less than 30. Describe the number of pennies in two ways. So we think, what number is one less than 30? We can count back one from 30. Do you know which number comes before 30? If you said 29, you're right. And 29 would be two tens and nine ones. We can write it in expanded form. Two tens is equal to 20. Nine ones is equal to nine. And we've described 29 in two ways, as two tens, nine ones, and as 20 plus nine, which is expanded form. Miss Cho has three packages of 10 pencils and five single pencils. How many pencils does Miss Cho have? So be careful, it says five single pencils. Single means one. That means she has three packages of 10 and five ones. So we think we can make a quick drawing to show the number of pencils. She has three packages of 10 and five ones. She has three tens and five ones. How could we write this in expanded form? Three tens is equal to 30. Five ones is equal to five. How many pencils does Miss Cho have? That was the question we need to answer. She has 30 plus five, she has 35. She has 35 pencils. We need to make sure we label the answers so we know what we were counting. We need to circle the ways to write the number shown by the model. So here is the model. It's a model of base 10 blocks. And we can see there are one, two, three tens. Could it be five tens and three ones? We only have three tens. So this is not one of the answers to circle. There's too many tens. There's only three tens here, not five. This one says three tens, five ones. I see one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four, five ones. Yes, this could be a way to write the number shown by the model. What about 30 plus five? We have 10, 20, 30, and five ones. Yes, 30 plus five is expanded form for the number shown by this model. We can circle this one. What about 50 plus three? Well, 50 means we have five tens and we don't have five tens. So this is not one of the answers. And 53 has five tens. That's not one of the answers. There's only three tens. 35, that's three tens and five ones. So yes, we can circle this one. That would be a number shown by the model. The number shown by the model is 35. So remember, we can write a two digit number in expanded form by showing the value of each digit and putting a plus sign between them. Our next lesson, 1.5, we're going to talk about different ways to write numbers. And I hope I'll see you there. I hope you're having a really great day and I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.